Hi everyone. Aroha Media brings you a small but most useful tutorial on commands used in Flash Action Script. These are called full screen and quit commands. The SWF file is directly opened in full screen mode with this code. So, let's start with this video tutorial. As always, open up a new Flash file with Action Script 3.0. Firstly, we will bring some content on the stage to display. You can add any object or any image or text. We will add some text here. Rename the first layer as text. We choose the text which represents the tutorial subject. Full screen mode and quit button. You can keep the same or modify the text color. Open the Align panel by pressing Ctrl plus K and get the text center aligned to the stage for better presentation. So this is the final content. Let's add another layer to start with Action Script. Name this layer Action and press F9 on its blank frame to get Action panel. Display State is the class which is called for Stage. This Stage class represents the entire area where the flash content is shown. Full screen sets flash player, that is SWF, to expand the stage over the user's entire screen. This much of code should allow the SWF to be displayed in full screen mode. So, come back to stage and save the file as full screen underscore quit and press Ctrl plus Enter to taste the movie. We can't view the full screen SWF when published from Flash. It can be demonstrated when the SWF file is opened directly from its saved location. Let's double click on this SWF file and view the output. This directly opens up in a full screen mode as directed. So the code works right. We can press the escape key to end full screen mode till we add quit button. So, let's add a quit button in the same file. Add a new layer above the text layer and name it quit. Draw a round cornered square on this layer as seen in the video. Place this object at top right of the text where the quit buttons are placed usually. Select it and press F8 to convert it into a button symbol. Name this symbol as quit. Step inside this symbol and change the color to red. Name this layer as BG and add another layer to draw a cross on this box BG. Take the line tool, keep the stroke size to 2 so that it's bold and draw the same cross as seen in the video. Now, the quit button graphic is completely ready. Step outside and give the button an instance name quit underscore btn as we need to use it in action script. Press F9 to get the action panel and start with the quit button action script. Let's start by adding a new function as quit. Now, we need to set a quit fs command to get the file closed after pressing quit. Now, at the end, add an event listener to call this function on quit underscore btn, that is quit button. And press Ctrl plus enter to view the SWF. Here applies the same for the quit button. It will work only when the directly saved SWF file is opened from its path. So, open it from here and taste it. SWF successfully opens in full screen mode and closes when we hit the quit button. So, 
this is done. This full screen SWF can be created for presentation purposes also. As you see, it doesn't take much effort to create a full screen SWF as well as to create a quit button for it. Thanks for watching and Aroha Media is glad to bring you this useful video tutorial. Thank you.